we tend to make them a bit longer now. I think we'll carry on with the same layout uh, in the next season. Because uh, everything seems to work okay. I think we uh, gravitate towards something that's convenient in terms of scale, in terms of the procedure that we follow, like the editing the tracks and everything else. And also, uh, when it comes to the tracks, when it comes to the uh, the identity of the show, like the way people recognize it, I don't, I don't really want to change it. I want to keep the same track, and uh, hopefully you're fine with that. So basically we carry on as, as before. Nothing really changes except for the season number. Which, yeah. Which, which basically one year, I think we've done very, very well for one year, because we have loads of... I mean, even on a week where we don't record any show, we have loads of, like, many thousands of downloads, maybe tens of 10,000 downloads of the of the show. And it's pretty amazing because it takes time to build up the audience, usually. You even know some shows that have been running for 10 years or 5 years. And, uh, and yeah, after one year, we I didn't realize we'd be... Uh, I didn't realize we'd still be going after one year. So that was when we first started, so... Well, well on that note, then, we'll close this off. And... Uh... Thank you very much for downloading, listening, uh, spending your time with us. Hopefully you'll see us on Diaspora and Tech Rights on Roy's site, uh, or on my site. And uh, hopefully Rusty will be back for the start of the, the second series, and we might have a few surprises. So we'll end on our usual track, which is I Fought the Troll by Tom Smith. And uh, thanks for listening. everyone with your stupidity, illogic, and blind, unthinking devotion to the Bush regime, this section is especially for you. I'm not going to name any of you out loud, not wanting to give you even the slightest possible notoriety, but as you sink under the weight of your own asininity into an intellectual La Brea tar pit, you can imagine that I sing your nom de guerre right now and bask in a stolen fame you don't deserve.